Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use the Energy Trace feature with an MSP430 microcontroller. Energy Trace is an energy based code analysis tool that measures and displays the application energy profile and helps to optimize it for ultra low power consumption. Energy Trace technology is included within Code Composer Studio version 6.0 or newer version. It requires specialized debugger circuitry which is supported with the onboard EasyFed Flash Emulation tool and standalone MSP Fed JTAG emulator. For this demo, I'm using CCS version 6.1 with the MSP430 FR5969 Launchpad Evaluation Kit having an EasyFed debugger and supporting energy trace feature. Let's start with building the MSP430 FR5969 project. Then, we start our debug session. To enable the energy trace window, we just need to press this button here. There is another option to always enable the energy trace window on debug session launch. We go to Window, then Preferences, Code Composer Studio, Advanced Tools, Energy Trace Technology and check the Enable Auto Launch on Target Connect. The Energy Trace window provides the information and settings needed to display the measurement results and to adjust the measurement duration or to save results into log files. The Energy Trace window displays the elapsed measurement time, energy consumption, power value, voltage, and current consumption. An estimated battery lifetime is also shown depending on the selected battery in the energy trace preferences settings. Power window visualizes the absolute power consumption value. The energy graph shows the total consumed energy. Coming back to energy trace window, this section provides various useful settings. The first control is used to start or to stop the energy trace run. The next one allows the start or the stop of the energy trace collection. This control is active only when the debug session is running. Here we can set the measurement duration. Data collection stops after time has been elapsed. However, energy trace data collection stop does not impact the program which continues to execute until the pause button in the debug control window is clicked. We can also save the profile to project directory, or we can load the previously saved profile for comparison. The advanced menu restores graphs or open preferences window. The last control allows switching between energy trace plus plus and energy trace modes. Let's start our debug session, which will also start the energy trace data collection. As you can see here, the time counter is increasing and the live data are displayed. The default measurement duration is set to 10 seconds. The energy trace window shows the current consumption measured, as well as the energy, the power and battery lifetime. Power and energy trace windows display the graphs corresponding to the absolute power and energy values. While the debug session is running, we can start another energy trace collection by just pressing the start button here. We can also choose to stop the data collection at any time. The energy trace mode can be used for any MSP430 microcontroller and provides easy and accurate power profiles for your application. This feature gives you an easy and low-cost solution to debug and optimize your application for low power. For more information, visit ti.com slash energy trace. Thank you very much.